What's up guys, Benoit here. Today, we got another Pokemon Go video for you. The last one kind of ended as a little bit of a bust. But it is what it is. Today, I am not super far from home. But uh, I'm a few towns over. I have a class I need to take today. And uh, I'm on lunch break right now. And unfortunately, I can't go out until after. However, looking on the Silph Road, right down the street, there's two reported nests. One of them is a Gen 2 nest. Uh, Yanma, I believe. I'll need to double check, but it's one I don't have. So, right after I'm done with this class, we're going to take a ride over there and check out those nests. Alright guys, so I'm out of my class. I'm at that first nest right now. And it's not looking good. There's, or was, one Yenma on nearby, and it's not there anymore. I went to the spot and it despawned. And I wouldn't really constitute one Yenma for a nest. But it is what it is, and I have no service here. It's, it's, it is hard to even pull up one Pokemon, so... I honestly might just move along. I'll see what I can catch while I'm here. And just head over to the other nest. Which Silk Road says is a slowpoke nest. Which something I'm interested to see. Which I haven't seen a lot of research yet. And I might see what I can get. Is uh, if those evolution items are more popular in those nests. Like the King's Rock needed for Slowking. Would we find more of those in the Pokestops in those nests? Might not be affected at all, but it's interesting to see. So I might even record some um, swipes for Pokestops while there to see what I can get. But whatever I can catch, you'll see right now. And let's just move along. Alright guys, so there's not a lot of stuff here, honestly. However, looking at the map, right down the street, which was the next park I wanted to go to, there's two Pokestops and there's two Lures Up. So let's just head over there now because there's not much here. And I don't want to waste my time and stick around for much. I did get my Yanma. That's what I came for. So now let's hit the road. So I just pulled up to the other park I haven't even got out of the car yet and we have I'm on three Pokestops but two are lured up right now we have the other ones in the park but my service is so bad the park is not even big there's six Pokestops and the park isn't even that big. I'll probably take a lap around just to show you guys, but right now I'm just trying to get service so that I can record some of my screen. Alright guys, 
I'm here in the middle of the park. It seems that at the end of the park, I have better service than at the car in the parking lot, which is a little upsetting because that's where all the lures are. And there's four Pokestops in the actual parking lot. The other three are down here where I am, which I don't even know if you can see. Right here at this little peak, right where the two rivers meet, there's two Pokestops there with no bench or anything. Alright guys, my lure just ended, I'm wrapping it up now, St sun's starting to go down, it's almost 5 o'clock, been here for a while now, my lure is coming and gone, I really don't think that this was actually a slow poke nest, there were a few slow pokes. However, it's hard to tell just because there was so many lures going. Um, we got some, but not enough where I would think it's a nest because we got other water Pokemon too. So it's hard to tell. Um, going through all the lures, I didn't get any evolution items. I know this is a very small sample and it's hard to make any conclusions off of it, especially since I didn't get any evolution items. And I know that those are rare anyways. I encourage you to see what you can find at your local park or Pokestops if they are nests. And it is a nest Pokemon that evolves in Gen 2. There's a lot about Gen 2 we don't know yet. There's been a lot of changes to the meta in the game. And there's a lot of research to do and see where we stand. So with that, I'm going to head home and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, I'm in the middle of editing. I just wanted to come on real quick to say I did actually take this to Reddit. Um, had a small conversation to see what other people have found in response to the special items for evolutions. Um, so far, people say that there isn't a correlation in the nests with those evolution items for those same Pokemon. Um, a lot of people to back up what I found even though I had a very small sample and so it turned from what we can tell right now they're not related the evolution items are not going to be found more often in nests of those Pokemon that need them all right guys so I'm back in my complex um, I just pulled in and I went over to the corner where the highest spawn rate is. And we got a brand new Pokemon, Apom, which I haven't seen yet. And I love Apom from Gen 2. But he's like, you know, I thought he was going to be a pretty common Pokemon, but so far I haven't seen him. This is the first. So that's, what, two or three new Pokemon today? As long as I catch him, I'm just going to Ultra Ball him because I don't want to. What the hell was that? He's being a little bitch. Let me, uh... I'm just gonna use a regular Raz because I want to catch him. And I'm gonna go Ultra. Can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm Raz Ultra Balling an Apom. But we got him. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we visited the few NAS tested out kind of tested out a theory that I thought might be true but didn't really get anywhere with it so 
Maybe we'll continue that going forward. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. All right, so with that, I am going to end it here with a montage of whatever Pokemon I see in my apartment tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.